Raphael was my least favorite growing up, but these days, I learned to really like his character. Even though he's a nagging, Brooklyn tough guy in many versions, I really enjoy this character in the Fred Wolf animation series. The guy has the best lines in the entire show. Careful, Raphael. It could be a trap. Yep, it's a trap. Uh, Donatello! You sure this is getting us anywhere? Of course! Every tunnel leads somewhere. You picked a heck of a time to become a philosopher. Shredder could show up any time, any place. Man, Leonardo, you are such a downer. Quick, boil some water! We're not delivering a baby, Dimbo! The witty, the witty voice, voice of, of the, the turtles. turtles. Raphael is cool, but crude. Raphael is cool, but rude! Give me a break! Or is it cool, but rude? Give me a break. I would say he's more sarcastic than crude. I don't think he would be in a kid show if he was crude. I always thought that the lyric said, cool but rude, which makes more sense, since being sarcastic can be rude. <laughs> a Jose can say go bat! Tell me, you didn't pay money for this. Ooh. But a lot of versions of the lyrics that I find online say cool but crude. Okay, you pile of mud. <laughs> Rafael was named after painter and architect. Raffaello Sancio da Urbino, or Raphael. Unlike the rest of the turtles, Raphael was the only one that got to keep his red bandana. Now when it comes to prototypes, with Raphael, there's not really anything to report there. I mean, except for maybe his black belt, but then again, the rest of the turtles have unpainted black belts too, so there's that. Let's look at his articulation. Just like the other turtles, he can move his head from side to side. His arms can go all the way around. He has swivels at his forearms and ball jointed legs. Now let's take a look at his features. Now he comes in a lighter plastic than the other turtles. He still has his red bandana. His teeth are showing on both sides and on the front. He has the dark shell on the back and the yellow on the front. He also has the red elbow pads, wristbands, and knee pads. Raphael comes with most of the same accessories as the other four turtles. Turtle fist daggers, which are both different, a comma, a weapons rack that is almost always tossed out, and two ninja stars. Raphael's unique weapons are a pair of Psy. He also comes with a belt that does not have straps like Leonardo or Donatello's belt. Instead, this is the only belt from the first wave that has storage for a different weapon in the back. I think most of us put a fist dagger back there, and it's pretty awesome. It made Raphael seem more versatile with his weapons. I mean, he is the only one that always has something other than his side with him. The belt also has a yellow letter R on the front. Let's take a look at the portrait of Raphael. The witty voice of the turtles. Vital tortistics, weapons, sigh, turtle fist daggers, ninja stars, and comma. Birthplace, Shelley's pet city, New Hapshell. Height, five foot one. Age, 15 people years. Weight 147 pounds with shell. Shell hard as old chewing gum. Raphael is the wittiest turtle you're likely to stumble over. If things are going his way, his tongue snaps out sarcastic jokes dipped in poison. Even though he's referred to as the snapping ninja, the turtles know he means well. Raph's clever skills with a deadly sigh allows him to strike at a distance and really keep the foot in stitches. His way with a manhole cover has made him famous in sewers everywhere. Raph uses the 100 pound discs to flatten the foot and to shield off anti-turtle blasts. I was already expecting this. He comes from a different pet shop than the other turtles. This time, it's Shelly's Pet City and New Hampshire. Let's just assume 
that for Leonardo and Don Tello, their ages are in turtle years. Leonardo is 16 turtle years old. And Donatello is 15 turtle years old. And Raphael is 15 people years old. Okay, let's see. Let's just bring up the old age converter. Okay, he's a tortoise. And his real age would be 15. Wow. Raphael is 152 years old. That's just crazy. He might as well be as old as Raphael Sanzio. As with Leonardo and Donatello, let's check out Raphael's personal profile from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Other Strangeness. Raphael has some kind of minor insanity that makes him the crazy man of the group. He has problems being controlled and cannot control himself. When agitated, he has a 75% chance of going into a berserker rage. It takes several melee rounds for him to recover himself. He's fine most of the time, but when he gets into a berserker rage, watch out. This makes him an awesome fighter, but also a little hard to live with. He doesn't like this side of himself, but he can't yet control it. It's like a demon living inside him, barely kept in check. A large part of why Raphael hasn't yet killed himself or any of the other turtles. Wow, his personal profile is deep and dark. The portrait from the action figure makes him just witty. This one makes him troubled and gives him a Wolverine kind of vibe to him. Raphael is another classic figure and he has the most solid stance of the four turtles. Although his face could be mistaken for Donatello because they are both showing his teeth on both sides of their faces, Raphael shows all his teeth. It's no secret that Raphael and Casey Jones are very good friends, but unfortunately, we won't see that in the Fred Wolf series. Besides the Mirage comics, the only other way that we saw that they had a friendship during this time was through the 1990 film. Neon Knight Riders! Birthplace? Shelly's Pep... City?